Liberty and freedom ultimately depend on one thing, and that is the people's will. The people's will to claim our rights, and the people's will to defend our rights. All throughout the history of this country, every gain that has been won has been when people have collectively decided that something needed to change. Hi, so uh, we're here today at the uh, Convention on Modern Liberty, um, representing the public. We're here with Peter Tatchell as well, uh, who's doing uh, a couple of talks in the open session. And we're basically here to uh, make the case that if you want to protect uh, civil liberties um, and human rights, you need a proper written Republican constitution, which uh, puts the people in charge. We have to be sovereign. Uh, we have to be the ones that can limit the power of Parliament and government so that they can't actually uh, enact the laws that they've been enacting in recent years uh, which do reduce our civil liberties and rights. So uh, we've had a fairly busy morning and uh, hopefully going to have a fairly busy afternoon making that case to uh, convention delegates and uh, Peter will be talking again uh, a bit later as well and uh, he's also been busy uh, interviewing some of the other delegates asking them their opinions uh, on the monarchy and uh, what should replace it. I just want to get your view on whether you think you're happy with the monarchy or whether you think we should move towards a democratic republic. Um, move towards a democratic republic. I, I believe a constitutional monarchy is probably a bit outdated. That, it, that what we need is a formal constitution between the people and the people who govern. And that that should be enshrined in, in the same way as an American constitution, in the same way as the constitutions we expect from new nations as part of peace processes. Um, and so uh, anywhere where the state can hide behind secrecy rules in the same way that the king could do no wrong, I believe is, it's just an outmoded concept and should be gone. Well, I believe we need, as part of the process of guarding rights and liberties, is a new Republican democratic system. And this would embody a number of points. First of all, a written constitution, so that there are clear uh, frameworks in which we as people and state institutions operate. Secondly, a Bill of Rights to ensure that there are clear limits on the power of the state and that certain rights and freedoms that we as the people have or should have will be guaranteed a replacement of the monarchy by a democratically elected and public and accountable head of state. Um, everybody, or most of us, are rejoicing at the election of Barack Obama as America's head of state. But as we all know, it couldn't happen here because the constitutional hereditary system means that the only people who can be the head of state in Britain are the firstborn on the House of Windsor. And as an all-white family, um, First of all, no black or Asian person can be our head of state. Um, secondly, no firstborn woman can be a head of state because it always goes uh, to the firstborn male when there are sons and daughters in line for the throne. So I think this whole election of Barack Obama has brought home to us the fact that we could not only have you know, a black or Asian head of state for the foreseeable future. Although, of course, that might change if, in generations to come, the Windsors marry a non-white person. But there are many as other aspects of people who are excluded. Uh, for a starter, um, under the constitutional arrangement whereby the head of state is the hereditary monarch, uh, what it means is that the most immoral stupid and incompetent royal has more entitlement to be our head of state than the wisest, most moral and most competent ordinary um, Well, I think there is a place for a review uh, of the position of the monarchy in Britain. Personally, I don't see it as necessary or particularly valuable constitutionally. Um, I think it symbolises uh, a historic relationship uh, between power and people and uh, time has come to uh, establish a different arrangement for the country which reflects um, a more aspirational and egalitarian vision of citizenship and the relationship between citizenship and uh, the constitution.